All right, welcome back to Brewing Reviews. The Nixter here. Jody there. And since you're so excited for the Nixter, you're welcome. He just came. We're gonna bring you another video here today. Say, I want to say the name. <laughs> People be like, "Whoa, wait!" What? Especially since uh, one of us has more experience with it. But this is actually a show I think from Jasper Carrot that he was a host on or whatever. What are we checking okay. out today? We're checking out a clip from Golden Balls. Nope, not a gold ball that you have in your hand. I'm going to restrain myself. I know. I saw that and I was like, <laughs> what the heck? And then I was like, I got to say it. It's the weirdest split or steal ever. Now, this is a request. So we always love requests. Thank you so much for checking that out. But because I always sometimes ask too much of the audience, we're going to do a quick little amount of research on this show real quick. All right, so it looks like, and there's round one. I'm not going to read all the rounds. It sounds like an interesting show. I don't think we have anything like this. But basically, it says that there's 100 golden balls containing cash values that range from 10 pounds to 75,000 pounds. 12 of these balls are randomly drawn from the golden bank and put into a mixture. And four killer balls, those are the ones I would get, I guarantee it, added by Amanda Grant, referred to by Carrot as the ball's assistant. Very nice. Or killer queen. These 16 balls are split equally and randomly amongst four contestants, each of whom places two balls on their own front. <laughs> Some of us are easier for others. And row back row holders without blah, 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 blah. So they're playing the game. Um, I'm assuming they keep playing until they get killed and they get the cash prizes in there. But again, you can steal, you can split. And that's what we're going to be reading, what we're going to be watching about. Each contestant is given a set of two balls, one marked split or steal, and must secretly choose one to indicate their intentions after looking inside to conform which is which. These contestants may speak to each other and ask Carrot for advice before making their decision. That's interesting. Is it like a little deceiving situation? Why do you keep looking at me like that? I was going to ask you if you have split balls. <laughs> Never. Well, I mean, both balls are, are actually split, so they're not put together. But Are yours golden? Anyways, can I steal one? <laughs> have we reversed roles or something? Are you the immature one all of a sudden? That's usually my job. So I'm excited for this split or steal situation. I don't really understand it, so I'm glad we're reacting to it. If you like your reaction to this anyway, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can be aware of the next upload of videos. I recently found out that some of my students found this channel, so I really hope they don't watch this one. Yeah, you're really <laughs> acting like you hope they don't watch it. <laughs> Oops. I just thought of that. I was like, ah, oh, gross. Too late now. Here we shmo. Welcome back to Golden Balls. After a run of big cash balls, Ibrahim and Nick now have 13,600 pounds in front of them. We know they've got it, but the golden question is, can they keep it? Ibrahim and Nick, you now face a very straightforward choice, but it's a choice that could make one or both of you extra wealthy, but it could also lose both of you everything that you have fought for today. <laughs> they have to decide to split or steal. I would not trust anybody. Ibrahim, Nick, you have two final golden balls in front of you and they are the most important golden balls of the game you each have a golden ball with the word he likes to say golden ball written inside absolutely you both have a ball with the word steal okay, i get it all right written inside you will know which is split and which is steal. i don't trust him at all the way he's looking around if you both he's steal. the split ball you split the thirteen thousand six hundred and you go home with 6,800 each. If one of you chooses the steel ball and the other all. chooses the split ball, whoever... Dude, this is so interesting. Dude right here, he's making straight eye contact. This is to say, dude, let's just split it. Let's just split it. Or he's saying, I'm going to screw you over. The other guy will not make eye contact with him whatsoever. You cannot tell me he has split on his mind. But we haven't watched this whole game. Like, maybe... They've been no, in I'm competition. Just, Maybe this guy stared down him. The guy is so down. nervous. Okay, stop. No, there's no chance. Hmm. I don't. I'm just saying. Now, if you both choose steel, how does that work? No one gets so, the money. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking because you paused it early, but I'm thinking if one person picks steel and the other person picks split, the person steals everything. If they yeah. both pick steel, they lose it. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Let's see. I wouldn't trust him. Chooses the steel ball. 
goes home with the whole lot, 13,600. But if you both choose the go. steel ball, you leave today's game with what you came with. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> it's the ultimate test of faith, trust, and let's face it, greed. Yeah. Take a moment to look at the balls in front of you so you know for definite which is split and which is steel, but obviously keep them concealed. So they get a peek at it. Just have a look. If you opened up one, you know what the other is. Just gotta make sure. Okay. I know. Gotta make sure. It's the easiest oh, choice. Oh, see, that's a stare down. That is a stare down. What I want you to do the is to spend lift. half a minute talking to each other about so you want to do it. what you both should do. Okay. So Nick? I don't trust Abraham. the other guy either. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Abraham, I want you to um, trust me. 100%, I'm going to pick the steel ball. Sorry, you're gonna. I'm gonna choose the steel ball. You're gonna take. I want you to. I told you, he was staring him down. No, and now I said I didn't really trust him at the end, but this is an interesting strategy. He's saying I'm gonna choose it no matter what. So you're going home with nothing. You might as well just give me the money, okay? Which is very. If you were to tell me that, I say, well, I guess we're both going home with nothing. You're not gonna bully me into this. Yeah, that is kind of bold funny. strategy, Cotton. He's staring him down, and then just go, ew, ew, and you were saying the other guy was all sketchy looking around. The other guy was super nervous. Yeah, because this guy is intimidating. He's a bully. But I did say he's either looking at me because he's saying we're going to split, or he's saying I'm going to steal no matter what. Mm -hmm. And what did he say flat out? Say, I'm going to steal it. Ugh, he is nasty. To do split, and I promise you that I will split the money with you. Oh. He took the steal. Yeah. You're going to take steel. Wait, wait, yeah. wait. I'm, I'm, I'm need going to it. choose the steel ball. You're going to take steel. I want you to do split, and I promise you that oh. I will split the money with you. Oh, I don't I'll trust him. Steel. Yeah. You're going to take steel. Yeah. I'm going to take split. Yeah. So you take the money. And I will split it with you. After the show. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. Ball strategy. Absolutely not. Abraham, I promise you I'll do that. If... If, if you do steal, we both walk away with nothing. I'm telling you 100% no, I'm going to do it. I appreciate that. Right, I'll give you another alternative. <laughs> Why don't we just both pick split? I'm not going to pick split. I'm going to steal, Ibrahim. Honestly, 100% I'm going to steal. It's in your nature to steal. No, I, I'm i honest, and I'm going to tell you're, you... You're an honest man. I am. That's why I'm telling you I'm going to steal. I don't if like you Abraham. do split, yeah. then I will I split the money. I can't see myself doing that. Okay, well, I'm going to steal, so we're going to leave with nothing. Okay. Where's your brains coming from? <laughs> I can't work out. I know that I'm a decent guy and I will split the money with you. <laughs> well, we should just both split then. No, you can't I'm get a straight deal. face. There is no legal no, I know, requirement I know there is. I know there for is. him to give you the of money. Of course. If I gave you my word, now let me, let me tell you what my word means. Okay. My father once said to me, a man who doesn't keep his word is not a man. He's not worth nothing. Not worth a, not worth a dollar. I agree. So, Abraham, I'm going to steal. So you've got the choice. I would steal too then. Steal. I don't think, I'm, I'm, I'm going to steal. With nothing, you You're know bullying me. I'm going to steal. steal. And I've told you that I will split the money with you, Abraham. Nope. Absolutely if not. If I gave steal. my word that I was going to split, I would split. And you're going to take steal. So the only way you can guarantee to walk away with 6,800 is by sharing. to guarantee that you both put the split ball in. And I do now have to push you for a decision. It's a tough That'd one. That'd be so hard, hard to trust somebody. somebody. Then. We're walking away with no money because you're an idiot. No, that's you're not an true. idiot. You're an idiot. That's what you are. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. That's what you are. We, we, this can go on all night, and these people have got to get up for breakfast. <laughs> Nick, choose split or steal. Abraham, choose split or steal now. Steal. I would Give not let him walk away with that. Right. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go with you. Okay. I'm going to go. With I promise you, you I will split it. No. No, don't trust him. He has no choice now because he's going to lose money no matter what. I would... balls now. He has I... no choice. Oh. Split or steal? <gasps> yes, congratulations. You have both split and each received £6,800. Why did you put me through that? Seriously. Hey, 
Now, if he would have just still, because see, that would have ticked me off so much that I would think, okay, I'm going to lose the money no matter what, because I'm sorry, you're going to give me the money after him. I would have picked steel no matter what, because I'd be willing to lose all that money for somebody who's going to be so nasty to me. And then he could have had all that money. Could have had all that money. Oh, I got good to say. That was interesting. Well, it's charity all the way. And a market trader you can really trust. Congratulations to you both. I've been Jasper Carrot. This has been a remarkable game. They've been lovely. This has been Golden Balls. Until next time. Goodbye. Oh, this has been Golden Balls. Been, I know he's saying this has been the show, but it's like... Now, I feel blamed. I feel blamed. That was, a, that was the hardest money I've ever had to work for. I feel great. He obviously hasn't worked in the charity sector to try and get money. I'm going to buy an oven, and I think me and my friend are going to Australia. With, with the money I've won, I think I'll respray my yacht. <laughs> I like how they have practical things they're going to spend their money on. We got, I got stuff I've got to do right now. I can't just be wasting... That, okay, first of all, that is a stressful into a game show, but I like oh it. I, I, I love game shows. My mom grew me up, you know, raised us on game shows, always on. I absolutely love them. Never heard of that one. That's a lot of fun. That is, oh my God. I mean, obviously I was wrong many times, but if I'm the other dude who's being pressured, I would have clicked. Been I I'm sorry. I was stole. I think I'm a good guy, but you, you're trying to bully me. That's just, that's not the right mm -hmm. tactic. You can make an argument. The other guy's tactic is, yes, psychological, this or that. But if you're with the wrong type of person, it's not going to work. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he was trying to get the guy. He, I think that whole thing was to see how the other guy was going to react. If the other guy was going to say, okay, sure, no problem, then you can't trust him because he's, he's not being emotional about it. But the fact that he's being emotional about it and this or that and this and that is interesting because what if the other guy said, no, screw you, I'm clicking, I'm picking steel. He I would have gone for steel too, I think. But I think since the guy fought so hard, like, what are you doing? You're an idiot. You're an idiot. I think he switched mm -hmm. it then. If not, then he was just giving the other guy $13,000. So really, it's the other guy who's going to win out no matter what happens. Yeah. But I think that was all like a psychological game. I, I don't know. Weird. That was awesome, though. Really yeah. enjoyed that request. Thank you so much for the yes. request. Let us know if there's any other episodes from this show that you want us to check out. That was fantastic. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time. Goodbye.